Hi folks, well in the last video we were talking about um, priming MDF panels. Um, that's now done and uh, on the easel in front of me I have the panel and I've marked it off already and I, um, I use these things which is, it's a Derwent Pastel pencil and also this which is common to garden chalk. Um, one of the reasons for this is that um, once you actually start making marks on uh, on a panel or on a canvas particularly if you use graphite i.e pencils and charcoal and so on and so forth those residues could be picked up um, by the paint and um, this sort of stuff just tends to blend in and doesn't leave any nasty smudges and marks and so on and so forth um, and the nice thing about the chalk of course is it will wipe off very easily anyway um, let's talk about that as we go i'm just going to turn the camera around and uh, you can see Hopefully, if I zoom in, I'm just hoping that I won't block everything. You might notice that uh, I've already put a line on this. Um, I'm going to paint this square. Um, it's had two coats of the uh, acrylic primer, the premixed acrylic primer. And I've put a line at the bottom there, which is uh, just marking off um, the bits that I'm not going to bother painting on. So it's the square area that I'm going to use for this picture. Um, it's going to be a sunset uh, with a breaking wave in the foreground and I'm winging it a little bit but just to give you an idea this area at the bottom um, could very well be used to test paint prior to putting it on the main panel so um, it isn't necessarily it's unlikely that I would ever paint on that so when I've finished I'll just cut that section off the painting will be obviously on this area so what I wanted to talk about was these uh, these pencils, and I do think they're really quite useful. Um, you can buy them individually, you can buy them in boxes and so on and so forth. Um, obviously made by other companies other than Derwent, but uh, it's a Derwent pastel pencil, if I remember rightly. And then um, this material, as we already talked about, is just common a garden chalk, which is uh, as cheap as chips. You can get that just about anywhere. Um, nice part about it is, as you say, once you've done your drawing, if you're not happy, you can just rub it out. Uh, as simply as this. So the first thing that I want to determine with a picture like this is where my horizon is, and this is a this is a common problem with um, with artists, um, particularly with seascape artists. You do see that they don't put horizons in. Now I'm just going to roughly put a line in, and whilst at this stage it is just a rough line, it may not be absolutely level before I commit. I will have a level line there. And I'm not sure whether that's high enough or low enough. And this is where composition comes in. What's the picture all about? Is it about, you know, a big breaking wave here? Um, or is it about a big sky? I mean, if it's a big sky, then you, you need to make it, you know, you need to emphasize that it's the sky. So you would bring your horizon down to here. So composition wise, people often find that they've composed a picture and the uh, the foreground of the picture, there's just not enough interest or or um, it just doesn't work. Um, you need to decide on what the area of focus is in the painting. And this was this is the key to any really uh, nicely composed picture is a, a real area of focus. Um, now, if that area of focus is a, is a, a sunset, then, you know, if you have the sun here, um, then you really You've got an awful lot of foreground to fill in now if that's great if you're going to put something really big in but if it's something relatively small and insignificant then maybe you should be thinking about the fact that if it's a fantastic dramatic sky that horizon needs to be down here somewhere possibly even lower and make a big thing of the sky anyway um i'm going to carry on with this um i think my wave is going to be really quite dramatic and breaking very close to um, and whilst you can't necessarily see these marks um, I have a fair idea of what's going on um, it's very subtle the nice part about this is lick my finger and I can just start again and just wipe it off so there we are very very simple very effective um, obviously it won't work on a white white canvas, but really I wouldn't encourage you to paint on a white canvas or a quite white board anyway. So um, pre-primed, that's ready to take oil paint. And as you know, I 
tend to use griffin alkyd oils um, by Windsor and Newton. Not that this is an advert, but um, of course they're dry very, very quickly. So um, have a look at a couple of my other videos and uh, they'll tell you well. Okay, stay safe, take care, stay sane.